Welcome to another video in a channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a typical dish from my country. And I'm super happy to do it because it's a super delicious and very simple way to serve the codfish. Codfish, it's a typical fish from Portugal. And today I'm gonna share with you a super delicious way to eat the codfish. So let's go, let's do some codfish. In the first step, it sliced the potatoes in a mandolin very fine. Then cut the potatoes very very fine in small sticks, for we make shoe string potatoes. After we have all the potatoes already cut, we're gonna wash very very well all of these potatoes till the water comes super clean and all of this starch is out. In a kitchen cloth we can dry very well the potatoes. In this way it's much more easier to get a super crispy shoestring potatoes. And of course, will not explode in the oil. And the oil should be at 170 degrees Celsius. And now it's easy to put the potatoes to fry. During this process, mix a little bit these potatoes. Season immediately with salt and your shoestring potatoes is ready. In the next step, it's cut some onions and slice them in a mandolin very very fun as well as we do with potatoes. Slice a nice amount of garlic and I'm using uh, about 4 or 5 cloves. During this process we will cook the codfish and here we have our beautiful codfish and it's super easy to cook. In the boiled water with some aromatics, in this case I put garlic, parsley and bay leaves, you can put the codfish inside. Immediately you turn off the fire of the stove and wait 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes you can remove the fish and let it cool down for about 15 minutes. In a hot pan you can put the olive oil, the sliced onion, two bay leaves and let it stew for a couple of minutes. You can season also with salt and pepper. And when you see that your onion have a nice caramelization, so it's the perfect time to put the garlic. Let it cook for more 5 minutes and reserve it. In a bowl we can start putting the eggs and I'm using about 5 or 6. Whisk these eggs very well. When the cod is cooled down, so it's time to separate the meat from the fish bones. Now it's the perfect time to chop some parsley. And when the onion has a nice caramelization, so it's the perfect time to put the eggs inside. Mix and combine everything very very well because the idea here is not to make a omelette or scrambled eggs, it's keep the eggs super nice and creamy and all of this process you can make it with the minimum power of the stove. Now you can add the codfish inside and keep mix everything. And when you see that your hex has a nice creamy texture, so you can turn off the stove and add the potatoes. Combine these shoestring potatoes. Finish with the chopped parsley. And the bacalhau abrash is ready. Now you can serve the codfish wherever you want. In Portugal, it's typical we eat with the super fresh salad. 
finish with some shoestring potatoes on the top for give a nice and crispy texture, a chopped parsley for decoration, and the final touch it's the black olives. And now let's go to the hardest parts of the video and let's try the codfish. Cheers! My friends, it's a delicious way to eat the codfish. Absolutely incredible! I think this dish really represents my country and I'm really proud to share with you this recipe, okay? I really recommend you to try this this dish, this recipe, I know that it's a lot of recipes from codfish in Portugal, but this one, it's I think it's the more special. Um, everyone in Portugal eat codfish, and this bacalhau abras, it's something very special, you know, for us. I think the world needs more bacalhau abras and more Portuguese food. I, I think because we have so good food to share with you, the world needs more Portuguese food. I think. In this dish, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one. Take care. Ciao.